G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I want to continue video three uh, of a seven part series where we go into the heavens and we go and visit the different aspects of the tabernacle that is in heaven. Now, of course, if you go and look at the tabernacle, you'll see there's the altar of sacrifice, then the laver of washing, then the golden lampstand, uh, the golden table of showbread, there's the um, the altar of incense, uh, then the ark, and the mercy seat. All right, and we're going to look at each one of them. I think the ark is going to be incredible. So watch all of the videos, and especially that one of the ark and the mercy seat. It's just incredible what the Lord has in store for us. All right, but today we're going to focus on the golden lampstand. Now, of course, um, you, you have the altar and the, the laver. On a on an outer court and then when you went in go into the uh, holy place immediately on your left hand side is the golden lampstand okay now the golden lampstand is seven branches uh it's a almond almond branches there's seven of them and all those branches are connected uh with like with pipes uh, and so what they would do they pour the oil into uh, the center pipe and then it would go to all seven of those branches and they would fill them up with oil twice a day and the idea is that that fire that's on that seven um, candles never stops it must always continuously be burning and that's uh, that's the the picture of that lampstand so now let's just ask the question why the lampstand why do i need to go to the lampstand what's the benefits what can i get out of that now of course the first thing is that oil that's the anointing of the holy spirit and so the lord said i want you to have the holy spirit in you because as a believer as a child of god that is the way you're going to function even from the beginning when god made adam he breathed his breath of life into Adam, he put his spirit into Adam and Adam could only function once he had the spirit in him. God actually says the moment you sin and you eat from that fruit, then you will die. And so the moment Adam ate the fruit, then of course he saw his naked, the spirit left him and the glory that shone out of him that radiated out of his body started to stop to shine. And from God's perspective, Adam was now dead. And so when we uh, don't believe in Jesus, then according to God, we are dead in sin. And when we give our lives to Jesus and we wash clean by the blood of Jesus, we become a child of God, then we made alive and the Lord puts his Holy Spirit back into us. And so the very essence of life comes from the fact that you are full of the oil of God and that there is a light that is burning in your life. And so the golden lampstand is a lampstand that we go to that that means we receive the holy spirit uh, we connect to the seven spirits of god that's going to train and equip us so that we can be presented as sons of god uh, we uh, receive the gifts that god has given to us the power that he's giving to us the fruit of the holy spirit we receive his breath of life we connect to the life that he is that's a picture of what it is and then that same life that's in that golden lampstand has to become who we are that's why jesus when he uh, spoke in in john he says and he is the light of the world that says in john but then in mark jesus says you are the light of the world so what is an essence saying he's saying i'm the light of the world uh, that's the vine because the light of god is in me but now i'm putting my light my life my spirit my anointing in you and now you are along with me the light of the world we are the light of the world all right and so therefore the lord wants us all to be filled with his spirit you know when jesus was baptized first thing that happened the heavens opened up and the spirit came onto jesus like a dove now in the same way uh, before the the new church uh, started to minister jesus said to them i want you to wait that 10 days in jerusalem and wait for the holy spirit and so then when they waited for the holy spirit on the 10th day uh, the holy spirit came like a mighty rushing wind and they saw the wider tongues of fire that came on the heads of each believer and so just like you have that seven tongues of fire on the golden lampstand so each one of the believers also received a tongue of fire is that not amazing okay now let let's read the scripture so we kind of just get uh, a little bit of a, a, a underlying foundation for what I'm talking about. First of all, let me just say this. 
The tabernacle is in heaven. It's important for me for you to understand that. I want to read you Hebrews uh, 8 5. See to it that you make everything according to the pattern shown to you on the mountain. So that means Moses went with the Lord into heaven and the Lord showed to him the tabernacle. He says, when you make the tabernacle on earth, it has to be a, a, according to the pattern of the tabernacle that's in heaven. Now what the Lord said to me, he said that same tabernacle that was on earth is still in heaven and is there for eternity. And so therefore I started then to go into heaven and I started to experience the tabernacle for myself. And that's why I'm doing these videos because I want to show you what I experienced so you can also go and experience the same thing. All right, so now let's go here to uh, the scripture in Hebrews chapter 5 18 it says there and do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation but be and then I just put in brackets continuously because that's the original language be continuously filled with the spirit all right so just like the priest had to continuously fill the seven uh, lampstand with oil so that the, the flame never stopped burning so just in the same way we have to be continuously filled with the Holy Spirit so that we uh, don't stop burning our light and our fire that's in our lives okay it also compares the do not be drunk with wine okay so you understand how someone fills them up with wine now here in South Africa uh, we have some of the best wine in the world especially if you go to the southern part which is roughly about 700 miles um, southwest from where i'm now there is the the area where all the vineyards are and if you go there you'll notice everybody almost every evening with the the um uh, dinner have a little glass of wine it's just the the culture of that area now we 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 are people don't really drink wine that much um uh, from my side i don't drink any alcohol because i said to the lord i want to uh, stand holy before you but coming back those people there they drink that wine and when they drink the wine uh, they don't just take a glass and down it like i would take a glass of water when they drink wine they sip on it and i think uh, that is also how the Lord wants us to be with the Holy Spirit. He wants us to continually just draw on the Holy Spirit and be aware of the Holy Spirit and be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and allow Him to continuously fill us up with His Holy Spirit. And what actually happened with the, the seven uh, bronze uh, chandelier, that golden lampstand, uh, the priest had to every single morning and every evening fill it up with oil and, and make sure that those flames are, are burning. And so in the same way, I think that is a pattern for us that we also have to at least every morning and every evening be filled up again with the oil. All right, now that was enough talking. Let's, let's go into the realm of heaven to this chandelier. So Jesus, thank you that you are the way, the truth, and the life, that you are Lord, our Savior, and our King. And Jesus, we step right now into you as the door into heaven. And Jesus, we ask you, will you please take us to the tabernacle that's in heaven and specifically to the golden lampstand? All right. And so I want you to see how you just take Jesus' hand, how he takes you into the realm of the Spirit, and he just takes you right there to the seven bronze golden lampstand. And so, Lord, even as we stand here before the golden lamb stand, Lord, I can just feel the, the love and the power of God, the light of God radiating from this lamb stand. And so, Lord, I've, I ask now, Lord, that you will make me a duplicate of this lamb stand. Lord, that I will be filled with the oil of God, that I will start to burn with the light, and that I will be always filled and I will never stop burning, the same as the lamb stand in the tabernacle. And so just open up yourself. In the scripture, it says, when John was prophesying about Jesus, he says he's the one that will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. And so just see how Jesus comes. He puts his hand on you and he pours the Holy Spirit out into you. So Lord, thank you that you baptize us today with your Holy Spirit. I just receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah, so in the scripture, it also talks about the breath of life that went into Adam. I just want you to see how the Lord just puts his breath of life into you. Yeah. And Lord, we are presented before the seven spirits of God. And Lord, we, we ask, Lord, that the seven spirits of God will train and equip us to be presented as sons of God. I see how the Lord is activating giftings in many of you. 
gift of healing, gift of miracles, gift of faith, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, discerning of spirits, prophecy, tongues, interpretation of tongues. Maybe you can just pray a little bit in tongues just to get that flow going. Lord, thank you for the flow of the Holy Spirit. You may put your hands on your stomach. Lord, I open up a river of uh, this, uh, my innermost being for this river of living water to start to flow out of my innermost being. And so, Lord, thank you for that I'm a gate and I just allow that river to flow, that it changes everything around me. Lord, I, I submit underneath your Lordship. I say, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you that you are my comforter and that you lead and guide me. And I receive your infilling today in the name of Jesus. Amen.